And we are back on board with the Naval, as we mentioned earlier, playing the last two weekends with Optic Gaming. Now back with the squad, and things are all tied up one apiece. And Matt, when you look at this phase squad going into this Biolab CTF game, who are the key players to look out for from each team? I mean, for phase, you're going to be looking at Zuma again. I think overall, he's the key player in this series for phase. That SD, it's great to see him get going, and he's going to carry oh. this over into the respawn. Picking up three huge kills right there in the middle. For Not Optic, you're going to be looking at Karma, how he bounces back after that rough search and destroy. Hook rotating over to try and help Zuma. It will take out Karma, but he's tagged up. Zuma still behind enemy lines, double stunned up. They see the hit markers, and he will be cleaned up. Optic didn't get a single kill there in the opening attack. However, holding strong, making sure their flag isn't pulled. Solid defensive stand in our first minute. Yeah, they did a nice job on defense right there. That could have got ugly early. If Hook is able to pick up you know, more than one kill on top of their base, figure Zoom was able to pull that flag out. He would have been home free. So pretty fortunate right there if you're off the gaming. I was looking at the minimap, and Optic seems really worried about this snow side. You saw a formal rotate all the way over from green, make sure everything was clear. Karma now getting in position over at purple, but the flag is being pulled. Zuma doesn't know it, but if he went green, that could have been a flag. Some spawns coming up there now for Optic Gaming, and Slasher is about to have his base swarmed. Yeah, Slasher is going to have two players attacking his base. It's going to be directly behind him. He's going to be able to get one. And another player jumping up top, able nice. to pick up Skump as well, so Slasher Going big, playing defense. It's going to be Karma Sir now on the defensive side for Optic Gaming. He's going to get stunned, have Zuma push right in. Zuma keeping on the aggression after that SND game. This is oh, what we man. did see from him in the hard point. I think if we would have gotten better game from him in the hard point, probably would have went in FaZe's favor. Yeah, that would be a 2-0 lead for FaZe if he was playing like he is right now. There is a big battle at the flag. Good kill coming in from Karma for the moment. Karma is going to buy time. Formal and everyone else rotating over. And now you're going to see Crim6 pushing through Biolab, trying to set up. You're going to see a snow pull here from Optic if they can get the flag out, but a solid hold by Slasher once again with the bow and Nabel and Zuma also in on the mix. Yeah, FaZe is going to take you know, turns playing defense. It's going to be Slasher sometimes, it's going to be Hook other times, but you know, those two players are so good with the bow playing defensively. It's really what we saw Hook do well at UMG Orlando for Sunder Gaming. They just did a great job on the defensive side with the bow. So going to be looking at those two, not to have the most kills in the game, but to pick up some very important kills, you know, getting cutoffs to score flags and also defending their own flag. Cram trying to get the canister kill. It doesn't connect. Does some damage, but won't finish. Players inside of purple waiting for Karma on the rotation. Optic Gaming trying to get to the flag, but it's really kind of crazy to see how strong both of these defenses have been. It seems the players have definitely figured out the spawns here on Biolab CTF. Yeah, it's kind of odd also to see Zuma sitting at 12 and 4. If you would have told me, you know, within the first three minutes, there was a player on one team that was 12 and 4, 13 and 4. Now, I would have said that team probably would have had at least, you know, one or two flags. He's got to defend himself. No support, and he will fall. Can Enable get the kills? It doesn't look like that is going to happen. Flag is returned for Optic. Enable still up. He's working with Zuma, who's coming off that respawn, but Zuma's got to get the return here. Optic pulling the flag. Enable set up to get a return, and as he trusts his teammates, He's going to go for the pull, taking it snow. There's going to be two players from Optic. That's going to be Krim and Karma, the ones that need to get this stop. Yeah, Karma's going to get taken out from behind by Slasher. Slasher picking up Krim as well. Players on the overextend for Optic Gaming. It's going to be formal. Going to try and get that flag out of there. Who going to be able to take him out? Who doing uh -oh. a nice job on defense like we were talking about. It's going to be that first flag kept going over to face. Back over to Zuma. I thought he was going for the pull. He doesn't. Now the spawn coming behind him. Almost turns on Formal, but Formal gets the kill. Meanwhile, Crim6 pulling this flag. No one there to help. It's Hook with another return on defense. So FaZe holding strong back at their base. Enable trying to lock down this elbow. And Matt, I got to get your thoughts, man. Does either team have an advantage at the start of this CTF? Who's got the better side? I know this map's kind of crazy, Puckett. I mean, we see no teams. They'll pull a flag. The other team spawns right near the flag. You know, just kind of up and down. I don't think any team really holds a huge advantage over the other on this map. But, I mean, you know, I think attacking probably towards the Red Eskies is probably where you'd want to be attacking. You know, I'm just waiting for that moment when Optic plays like Optic. Right now, they're just getting out slayed. Look at this. 8-9 and nine from Krim. 8-11 and 11 from Formal. 7-12 and 12 from Karma. And Skump has been absolutely shut down this game by the battles from FaZe at 6-10. and 10. But You know what was odd for me? It kind of struck me maybe like a minute or two ago, where Formal went in and grabbed the FaZe flag. Like, when was the last time you saw Formal really right. go on the offensive and grab the opposing team's flag? Just seems like maybe some rolls out of sync at this moment in time. I mean, nobody for Optic with 10 kills 
the end of the first half? I mean, when was the last time you would have thought that would have happened? I haven't seen it in a long time, I'll tell you that, unless he is the last man standing and they need to force some overtime action. FaZe holds strong after getting the first cap. They keep their base clear. The series all tied up, one apiece, but FaZe primed to take the lead. I mean, that half completely dominated by FaZe. I mean, Krim finishes 10 and 11, the best score on the team for Optic. I mean, formal eight kills, Karma eight kills, and then I think Scub, what was he at, seven, I believe? So going to be looking to see those three players really turn it up here in the second half. Not going to get by getting outslayed that much. And it's got to be shocking. You know, Optic as a team, you figure they can outslay anybody. You know, to come into a series and yeah. get outslayed by somebody, got to be a bit of a shocker. Krim6, the in-game leader. He is going to be the shot caller and the one telling everyone else what roles they should be playing here on the second side. I'd love to go to an Optic Gaming listen in as Krim pulls the flag. Come on. He's gonna be on a flag already, probably. Yeah, go, probably. go, go, go. There's behind me. Oh. Spur. Nice. Go, 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 go. I don't see anyone. Damon's dude. got a flag. Top Look at Big Green. Look at Big Green. He got me. He got me. Blue cut. Blue cut. Blue cut. I got a flag. Let's get blue cut. Let's get blue cut. Nice. Good job. Top. He's top Big Green. I'm leaving him. I'm leaving him. Another one here. Another one here. He's in top blue. No, in blue. In blue. In blue. All right. Yeah. Zuma. I'm in square. I'm watching square jump. We'll get orange turbine. Orange turbine with the bell. Come behind him, Matt. Yeah. We got Orange Turbine. I'm stunned hard. He's top of their base. I got the guy, right got the guy at our base. I'm coming to help you guys. Oh, it's square. Blow snow. And watch out Orange Turbine. You, it's all good. All good. Try and square. Yo, back snow. Back roll, back roll. Nice. Got a stone. Back, oh, hut, hut. He's outside of hut. All right. He's in hut. Hook. I got one on their flag. He's in hut. Nice. I need a hut. In hut, in hut. Hook. In hut, hook. I don't see him. He's, he's outside. Yo, square, 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 square. Did you guys be killing? Square watching the jump. Square watching the jump to play. Nice. Nice. Yo, yo, come back. Am I right back? Uh, one try that sloop on himself. He's weak on I'm me. coming in square. He's stunned also, he's stunned also next to you, Yo, they have not got re yet. Okay, one's up top and one's hut. Top, top right and hut. Yeah, I'm behind them. Yeah, one's top base, top base. He just jumped for re. He got, I got, re. He got him. I got him. I'm running over tunnel. I'm running over tunnel. I got him. I got him. Watch my back. Ice, 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 square. I got him. Go. Ice, go. Go back, go back. Right back, guys. I'm going, I'm going to square. I'm going as fast as I can. Top our base, top our base. There's two here, two here. I'm super stunned. Two guys top our base, two guys top our base. One shot, one shot. Big kills. Three in our flag, three in our flag. Big one, two nice to your right. One. Nice. One more, one more blue, huge. one more blue. All good. Wrap green, wrap green, red one. Yeah, wrap green, wrap green. I got one. Oh, one behind me. Three, Top short, short, in chasing square. you. I in square. Yeah, I'm chasing pulling out. I'm, I'm running at flag. They're going to spawn purple. Yo, yo. Oh, oh, shit. Short one, one was behind you. you. I got, let's go. Three, three. Three, three. I'm running back. Okay, nice. Last guy behind me, last guy behind me. Watch out, the orange tunnel, orange tunnel. Let's go, get it out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They might have, yeah, I'm throwing the rotation back. Yeah. I spawned our tunnel. I didn't sun anything. Damn it, I'm helping you. I'm yeah, throwing, I don't see anyone. Throwing, 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 throwing. Two top long. I'm running back up. Two, two going in blue. One cut. One cut and one blue. Am I going for this? Top pick. Top, top, top. I got one. Top purple. And bottom purple. Bottom purple. One shot. One shot. Bottom purple. One shot on me. Side purple. I got him. I got him. Huke. Huke is one shot. Bottom purple. Am I going for it? No, he's up flank. He's under flag. Under flag. Two under flag. Two under flag. They're gonna run it at you. I'm stunned. Oh, yo, 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 pick away, push it, pick back away, push one it. Shot, back blue one shot, on our flag, and one top purple. Oh yeah, top he's back, back coupling, back coupling. Yo, go to the base. Get ready, go one for pull out, go for pull out, go. I'll get, I'll get. I thought they were running at purple side. Oh, yeah, chase him, chase him, chase him. Play D, play D, play D. Bottom purple. Matt, it's all tied up after that run from Hook, but during the listen in, Optic was able to score twice, and you gotta love the leadership from Krim6 and just the small talk from Optic as a whole. Karma always calling out his move, Scump letting people know when he makes a big play and there's an opportunity, and Formal being in the position to get some key returns in that series. But how did FaZe answer right back after that second Optic score? What's funny is, you know, Optic, they did a great job scoring those two flags. And then they started to get a little bit too over aggressive, right? You know, sometimes you force the issue so much, everybody gets going, everybody starts to push out. And then you push out things that you really shouldn't do. And FaZe able to go on the counter, get that counter cap, you know, able to get all four dead for Optic Gaming. Just did a fantastic job scoring that one. And Nabel's got a world of trouble, though. He's got two players for Optic Gaming. Gonna wow. be here in mid bio. He's gonna be able to take out two. Got one more in purple. They're gonna have to go big. They can actually have a really good opportunity to pinch this flag carrier for Optic Gaming. That's gotta be so frustrating for, frustrating for Enable. You killed three people, but the flag's still out. Scump keeping it alive. Hook, though, is gonna pull the Optic flag and he's gonna take it green, letting his teammates worry about the return. Optic is gonna have to deal with Enable. He picked up two before falling, but nice job by both teams to get out alive with each other's flag. It'll be interesting to see what position Hook plays with this flag. It looks like he's gonna stand right up on top of this green platform over here, just gonna Hardest place to return angles. it possible, Yeah, basically. it's gotta be a hard place to get that flag return. So he's gonna drop, it's gonna be formal, picking up two. 
He's got one player to beat if he's going to try and return it. Actually, if you're formal, I would actually just watch this play from seven afar. Seconds, yeah, just right? play for the seven seconds. Th four seconds left on the return. While it happened, though, the flag went back for the other side. It was Karma taken down. Nice job by FaZe. And Hook, he doesn't want overtime. It looks like actually that is going to be a stopped push here. Skump shutting it down with Karma. We're going to see an overtime, Matt, here in this one. Honestly, I couldn't tell you who is going to be able to come out with the first flag. Krim trying to get one last pull. That is shut down. Nice defense from both squads. And when you take a look at the numbers, who's impressing you the most? Well, Formal's really had a big second half. I mean, we talked about him struggling in the first half. Really brought it back nicely. They're going to need more of that from him. On the flip side, for FaZe, you're going to be looking to see if Zuma can keep up the pressure he's putting on right now. And you're going to need a better game out of Slasher. I mean, Slasher is plus one right now. Formal doing a nice job counteracting that. Going to need Slasher to go big here in the second half. Guys, we are live in California. This is the Grand Finals. How many FaZe fans do we have out there? There's like a few people over there. How many people are cheering on Optic Gaming in this one? There's a lot of people everywhere. We're starting things off with Optic Gaming on your screen to open things up. It's going to be Karma. He's kind of the filler on the squad, playing the defense and the flex role for the team. Skump, though, he's been the aggressor. Slow start to this game. Let's see if he can get something going. Still going to be about negative nine. Karma doubling back to play defense, and he is needed there. Nice stop on Zuma, who is going to go for a pull. Yeah, Karma does a great job filling all gaps in CTF. Might even be the best CTF player in all Call of Duty. I mean, I'd say him and, you know, J-Cap. J-Cap's right. always been a historically great CTF player. Going to be looking at Karma fill in all those gaps, coming up with big plays for Optic Gaming in this one. Formal trying to get over there. Scump is going to get the kill first, and nice job by Optic to take control of Purple. They're going to try and go for a pull, run it right back to their teammates. Meanwhile, you're going to see FaZe all spawning green. Good trade there. Krim's going to go for the pull. You see Karma set up to watch the middle. And as FaZe rotated behind, Zuma picks up two. Krim's going to have to defend himself. Great kill there on Slasher. And all the kills need to go down from Skump out at Snow. He can't finish. Krim going to be met by a lot of pressure. And it's Optic using bodies to jump in front of FaZe. And Krim will put it in with one minute so, and seven seconds. So Kar Krim goes huge getting that first kill behind him. The biggest kill was actually Karma coming through ice, able to take the second player who was coming down through that first hard point. It's going to come right behind Krim. Karma cleans him up. The other two do a great job holding their base. Going to be a difficult time for FaZe to beat. Formal opening up with a two-piece, taking out Enable. And you're going to see Hook now rotating over green after the respawn. Enable connects on Krim with the stun. So FaZe threatening at the optic base. You'll see the rotation back. It's Karma, one of the key players who's going to continue to put pressure on FaZe. He knows not only do FaZe need to get the flag, they need to get it home with their flag back at the base. Karma going for the pull here while Skump plays defense. Optic's going for the throat here, Matt. Yeah, and Skump gets a huge two-piece with those canisters. Karma going to be able to put this one in. Little 360 action there. It's going to be Optic Gaming taking this CTF. That woke the crowd up. Yeah. Let's take a look at it one more time from Skump. He gets the kill up close, finding Zuma, and then the canister explosion. Just enough damage done is going to pick up three as that final flag is run home. 4-2 on Biolab after a very tight 10-minute game.